Right, so in this bowl we've got um, corn. I'm just grating some bread because the breadcrumbs will make the um, mince thicker. So it's like a bulking, like a fibre bulking. You're not going to taste it, it'll double your, your meal if you put bread in. Right, so I'm going to put the heat on. I'm not going to have it too high because I don't want to burn it before I've even started. So I'm adding some, adding some of this. And then let's heat the pan up. Right, so we're going to add a teaspoon of mixed herbs into here. I'm going to just break it up a bit. We're going to add it now to this. And we're going to basically brown it. So this is, um, as you can see, it's browning up really nicely. We're going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce. going to add some water and we're going to add one of these stock pots I've never actually used them before but Gordon Ramsay has so I'm going to use one so basically it's one of these so you take the, oh right, so it's like a gel, okay, right. go in, I guess we only need one of those. Right, so let that. Right, next I'm going to chop some onions really finely. So I'm going to dice this onion. Right, so we're 
goldening the softening and goldening the mushrooms you don't want them burnt so right we're going to add a little bit of salt to the onions they're nearly ready now to put into here So they're all going to go into here. Now, stir that. Put the lid on. Let's turn it right down. Turn it down to three. Right, we're going to add all already made, all already fried and everything. These um, fried onions. So we're going to add about two tablespoons of these. So I'm adding a tablespoon of tomato sauce. Actually, I'm going to add a few tablespoons. Nice. Right. We'll have this on lower now. Have it on too. Reheat this pan again. Put some more oil in. And then we're going to chop up some mushrooms. Right, so we're going to chop up some uh, mushrooms. These are chestnut mushrooms. I'm going to chop these up. I'm going to leave them quite large because the only reason why is because they tend to shrink a lot when they're being cooked. So and I want to be able to see the mushrooms too. Your choice whether you want to leave the stalk on. Some people do, some people don't. But I'm going to leave them on. Right, so we're going to put this over here. And we're going to put these mushrooms in.
put this lid over the top just to keep the more to keep the, the steam in. Turn it down a bit because we don't want to burn it. Right, so I'm going to get in with my smallest pouch. I'm going to get them all out. And we're going to just take off the this part. these into here right we're going to add some more water I wish you could smell it because it does smell very nice. <clears throat> right, put that down. <clears throat> Let's check on these mushrooms. <clears throat> Now, so they're now ready to go into here. Stick that in there, too. Turn this off. <clears throat> so, now mix that, that up in here. Okay, put the lid back on. We're going to add about two tablespoons, three tablespoons of of this. Um, Vitality, healthy balance, natural yogurt. It's got no sugar in it at all. Stir it in. Right, so we're going to add a small amount of crushed chilies. 
in fact even smaller than that so I'm going to add about that much I don't want to be draining my mouth off um, I'm going to add cumin will be enough and we're going to mix we're going to add it to the pot good pinch of these uh, crushed chillers and I've add, added a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of um, ground cumin and that's going to go in here It's very nice. It does very nice. I'm going to add another little bit more cumin. Cumin, cumin actually tastes lovely. So. A bit more, not that more, not that much, not that much. That'll be sufficient. Right, stir it again. A small amount of paprika. Don't need that. Just a little bit. I'm going to turn that down even more. I'll turn it down to two. Right, we're going to cook the courgettes. I'm going to cut them really thinly. So that's enough of those. I'm going to put some oil again in the pan. And I'm going to heat the pan up. And we're going to put the courgettes in. So we're heating, heating up the pan. Um, I've just chopped some courgettes up. So they're going to go in the pan. I've added camembert. I've added phyllo, Philadelphia. I've added skim milk. I've added extra virgin olive oil. I've added a sprinkling of mix. Let's add cheese. I'm going to get some salt. So we're going to add some pepper, but I'm going to have to put the camera down to add the pepper.
right now. I'm going to add some more cheese on top. And then we're going to get some olive oil. We'll stick some olive oil into here. We'll get a brush, put the olive oil in, and we're going to dab it over. Dab it over the top. It's going to stick the oven on. <coughs> okay, so we've got the <coughs> chef's pie in, and it's um, on at the moment. At the moment, twenty minutes um, on gas mark two hundred. Okay, so we're gonna the oven's been on um yeah the oven's been on um oh bloody hell steam yeah the oven's been on 20 20 24 minutes 25 minutes so where's that's what we need so let's take this out look at that so this is my shepherd's pie finished results been in the oven about 25 minutes Smoky. Right, Grant can give me his uh, verdict, what he thinks about it. Right, Grant, give me your honest, honest, honest verdict of what you think. What's got in it, Lippa? Don't be silly. Vegetarian. Mm. Taste the uh, mash as well. Mm. Taste the curry. There's no curry in it. Mm. What do you think? Nice. Nice. Mm. nice. What what is it out of ten? As in nine. one nine? Mm. Oh okay, thank you. <laughs>